In this video, we're going to show you how to integrate an existing Rollbar project with Microsoft Azure DevOps. But before we begin, let's make sure we level set and set a few expectations before we continue. Number one, we're assuming you have an existing Rollbar project that's been created and that's actually received some errors. And number two, that you have an existing Azure DevOps account that's already been integrated with Rollbar. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the product. And as you can see here, we have a new project that's been set up that's recently received some errors. So the first thing we're going to do is integrate this particular Rollbar project with Azure DevOps. So we're going to go ahead and select Settings. And we're going to go ahead and select our project. And under Integrations, we're going to go ahead and select Notifications. And we're going to select Azure DevOps. And as you can see here, this account is not, our Azure DevOps account is not linked with the Rollbar account. So we're going to click on Connect here. So it'll link the two. And we can pick our particular credentials and click Enable. Great. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to fill out some basic information here. We're going to pick our account and organization. We're going to pick, let's pick, sorry, let's pick this one. And let's pick our project. And then we're going to pick a few things here. We're going to select a work item as an issue. And the initial state is to do. Resolve state is done. Reactivated state is to do. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to save these particular settings here. And again, you could customize this. This may vary depending on how you have Azure DevOps set up. I also wanted to scroll down here and show you these are our default uh, rules that are set up when you create a notification. These are also going to be very similar if you use any of our other integrations with things like Datadog or PagerDuty or Slack. I want to go in and edit one of these particular rules. So for this case, when an item is reactivated, we're going to reopen the work item in Azure DevOps. So this is saying any error that comes in that has the level error or greater, this is going to take effect. I could change this and say I only, I only want I, I, this to be for critical errors. I could add and say I'm only interested in production and I'm only interested in, you know, maybe a certain context, maybe a certain method. So I could get as granular as I want with these rules. The point is you can configure this as specific as you want. So we're not going to blast Azure DevOps with creating a lot of new issues coming from Rollbar. So you can be as specific as you want there. So now if we go back over and click on items. Let's click on a particular item. Okay, and now you can see it says create Azure DevOps work item here. So let's go ahead and click on that. Let's say we're going to create an item. And now we're going to go ahead and let's view this item in Azure DevOps. So you might ask, well, why would I want to integrate Rollbar with Microsoft Azure DevOps? Well, if you're using both tools, it's really nice and very convenient to be able, within the context of the Rollbar GUI, to manage your different items in Azure DevOps all from within Rollbar. If you didn't set this up, you could still do it, but you'd be context switching and copying data from Rollbar and putting it in Azure DevOps. As you can see here, we really just created a work item right from Rollbar. So it makes it really, really convenient. So if we go back over here, we can see that our item has been created. And here's the details here, which will link back to the items page and provide some more information there in Rollbar, which we saw from here. The other thing I can do here is I can link to a different Azure DevOps work item or I can unlink from this current item, but I can do this again all from within the Rollbar GUI. So it makes it very, very convenient for developers that are using both tools. Hopefully this was helpful, gave you some insight in how this integration works and why it might be beneficial. Go out to the website or reach out to us if you have additional questions.